What is good everybody? Finally bringing you some Vanguard here. This video is going to be strictly just my settings. I thought I could get through this in under in under 15 minutes and I should, but I thought it was going to be a lot shorter. So I'm going to have to do a double double header. Uh, one video is just my settings. Another video with some gameplay and you know my initial thoughts, pros and cons. So in this video we'll just look at my just look at my competitive settings, uh, you know, help out anybody out there that just wants to stay uh, as competitive possible. Um, believe me, I've looked at a bunch of controller settings since I really wanted to get competitive since back in the day. I'm talking about World at War, COD 4, MW2, Black Ops, but, you know, everything. Uh, so hopefully I help out a couple people. Um, and then just stay tuned for a second video on Vanguard and my initial thoughts on that. So here, let's just jump straight into our to our settings. If I sound a little bit muffled, I'm sorry, apologize. Uh, I am using my headset mic. Uh, I wanted to record over, you know, over the screen, uh, just so I know exactly what I'm talking about, and you guys can have a little bit of input uh, as far as on the right, see what's going on. Uh, very first thing is our sensitivity. Do not be misguided when people say the higher the better. This is a strictly preference feel. Um, someone like me who likes to play a little bit faster definitely uh, need a little bit fire, higher sensitivity. Usually they start you off at around 3 and that's perfectly fine. My boy Jake plays on a 3. His aiming is impeccable. Um, but you know me i just like to be a little bit more i should say twitchy <laughs> uh i sense perfect sweet spot for me i think i play around the same on warzone uh i definitely recommend upping it just because you know when you're getting shot i don't like to get shot and i die before i could even turn and see them uh you know and that's what i notice when i'm on these lower uh sensitivities uh just too much times that i get shot and i look to the side or I don't look at the player in time before I die so that should be an, an, an initial sign that you should up your sense. sense next here we got let's see oh our ADS sensitivity so this is when you're actually already aiming down sight um, with your gun but don't be afraid to drop this to make you a little bit more accurate you know sometimes when you're trying to trace someone run across the map your aiming starts going crazy you could bump this down. I think on Warzone I pay a, play on about a 0.85, um, just to uh, you know not make my aim too wild. I've been playing on a one here. I've been comfortable with that. Uh, maybe it trans transfers over to Warzone. If not, I could always dumb that down. There's a lot more extensive sensitivity settings here, custom where you can literally manage every sensitivity for every zoom. But for now, sticking for the one. Nothing crazy. And next is going to be the most important, um, probably spend the most time on this setting right here, and that is tactical. Um, if you see on the right side of the screen, all it does is moves my melee to my circle button and my crouch from my circle button to my stick. This is the very first setting ever that I was ever taught since back in the day when they told me, you know, you want to be competitive in Call of Duty? Just make this switch. <laughs> um, you just want all your mo movement on your sticks. Uh, helps out a lot. Um, uh, you, especially back when, well, when drop shotting was more prevalent. You know, it's a lot more helpful. But I mean, now that they're sliding, you know, you got your slide right there on your stick. Um, yeah, if if you still drop shot, you know, you still got it on your stick. And there's a lot more times you need a crouch than you need a melee. So. To me, it's good to always have your thumb on that uh, on that stick. And as far as my triggers, I've always just been used to shooting my weapon with my bumpers instead of my triggers. That's completely preference. If you've been shooting with your triggers, that's completely fine. So that's why you'll see tactical flipped here, but nothing wrong with the, the new way of shooting with your triggers. I just think for semi-automatic weapons, you know, that R1 fire speed is a lot faster than the trigger. Um, next we got aim response curve and this don't feel the need to experiment with this initially uh, 
I would say go through everything else and then at the very end when you change all your settings feel comfortable with them then you come back to this because uh, this is basically playing with your aim response curve when you're when you're moving as far as your aim uh, how fast it accelerates and decelerates uh, on standard starts off at a slow acceleration and then slowly up upens and on dynamic it's the opposite of that it starts off fast but then it like slows down tightens it up a bit and I just found out that a lot of pro players uh, use dynamic a lot of competitive players so I thought I'd give it a go I like the way it felt I've been playing on it for about two years feels good linear um, at least <laughs> when I used to play Fortnite back in the day uh, with editing I always thought that was the most comfortable and linear is basically a one-to-one -one ratio there is no acceleration or deceleration it's just your movement 100 percent and for some people that's they're comfortable with that but I wouldn't mess with this too much uh, until you get your especially your sensitivities down uh, because this definitely mess with your sensitivity on its own um, and these two uh, especially controller vibration I always have it off if you want to remain competitive you don't need any extra campaign effects uh, messing up your aim uh, last thing I'll talk about here is the dead zone input um, basically when you start on these I think the game starts you off like at a 13 and that is way too high <laughs> Um, what you want to do is dumb this down as much as you can. Uh, if you have a new controller, you'll probably be pretty low, probably like at around a 2. Um, if you have an older controller, it will be higher. Um, basically, this is the, the drift on your stick. You know, sometimes you're not touching your controller and it's moving on its own. If it's moving on its own, you probably got to up this a little bit. Um, but yeah, so basically you want to find that comfort spot, go into a private match, uh, look at uh, look at something on a wall and your little aim reticle if it's moving on its own you need to up this so I went down to a two to see you know if it was still moving it was still moving so I upped it to a three it was still moving a bit I upped it to a four and it was more or less super still so I just upped it up to a five just to make sure and as far as your triggers make sure that dead zone is at zero you want to start firing as soon as your finger even puts any type of pressure on your triggers um, definitely don't need any of this I'm not sure if you initially start with any uh, now move over to the gameplay tab uh, these are more you know quality quality of life improvements here and these most most uh, of all transfer over to Warzone uh, if you play Warzone at all or plan on playing Warzone these is probably the most important section for it um, just because uh, they help you more in that aspect than in the multiplayer aspect. Uh, airborne mantle, you do not want the computer mantling on its own <laughs> when you're not wanting to. You want to mantle when you want to mantle. So I definitely turn that off. On Warzone, I have this on automatic tech sprint. In this game, you just die too quick. You can't be caught tech, spr tech sprinting, especially around a corner, you're dead. Uh, so I dumb this down to sprint. Um, in Warzone, like I said, is still tech sprint. But definitely um, die too quick in this game to auto auto tech sprint. Um, and here, slide behavior tap. Ever since I learned to slide cancel, I'm gonna probably make a video on that later. Um, tap. Uh, you want to tap uh, and not hold the button through your whole slide. Uh, it's just a waste of it's, it's button wear to your controller, and you know. As soon as you slide, you want to be able to start aiming, because uh, that's what I, you'll see me doing a lot of my <laughs> clips as I, I slide at people's feet. Don't see me coming. I'm already shooting with my aim on them. Uh, also, like I said, slide canceling a little bit different from Warzone in this game. Doesn't really work with the uh, sprint to fire times and stuff like that. But definitely worth keeping on tap. And the last thing is the tap to interact um, in Warzone. You want to loot as fast as possible, square, 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 open, pick up, pick up. Uh, I've been used to that ever since Warzone came out. It will turn your reload into a hold instead of a tap, but honestly, I got used to that right away. 
Um, I don't want that hindering me once I go back to Warzone. Um, let's keep it at <laughs> like I have it over there. Um, next, we'll move on to the graphics tab, which is one of the most important tabs out there. 120 field of view. Most important, uh, I would say, for console players. Improvement. Um, Cold War had it. Wasn't really talked about for some reason. Uh, maybe because it was such a bad game. But, <laughs> um, guys, 80. We're at 80. Console players are at 80 fields of view. If you look on the right, that is crap. <laughs> that is very crap. When you're especially in crossplay era now. Uh, you got these crazy PC players playing on some 120 FOVs. We got that now. You guys want to stay competitive, you up this. In my opinion, this is not um, a preference. This is a must. <laughs> At least to 90. If you guys can step up to 90 to see how it feels. Hopefully you like that. If you can get to 100, even better. Anything higher than that, you're ready to go. I am, I call this training, <laughs> I'm training on 120, I want to see how um, I can control my aim, um, the way it looks, uh, just just in case they haven't officially announced if this is transferring over to Warzone, but I really hope it does, this is on the Modern Warfare engine, so I, I feel it's almost a guarantee it will, but you know, we hope for the best. Uh, world motion blur and weapon motion blur guys let's take a look at the pictures on the right here and tell me why would you want to purposely blur your surroundings and your gun <laughs> it just doesn't make sense maybe you're playing campaign okay but not in competitive <laughs> multiplayer turn that off uh, you do not need that on demand texture streaming keep that on saves a lot of file um, a lot of space um, Unless you have some type of caps from your internet service provider, uh, do not uh, turn this off. Um, I don't know, no ISPs that do cap you, that tell you, but still, <laughs> uh, keep that on. They, as of making this video, there should have been a patch that did help packet loss, uh, and a lot of people were turning this off to help with that, uh, but that should be fixed now. In audio, all I wanted to put out there is that you might want to lower down the music. Sometimes, you know, you don't want that bothering you, distracting you when you're in a game. Dialogue also. Master volume and sound effects should always be to the most. Classic hit markers, just a preference for me. And, you know, when you're playing with your friends, just make sure you can hear them and they can hear you. And the last tab is the interface. I just want to cover two little quality of life ticks. That you might want to put on there and that's your latency if you see on the upper left hand uh and packet loss mainly latency i just want to make sure how my connection is doing um uh, 20 to 30 is usually a, a really good connection if you can get that average is about 60 you know anything higher than that it's probably not a good connection and it's just good to see that uh while you're playing just to see if you know so if something's off, you're dying a little too quick. It's probably your latency that you know your your uh, opponents can see you before you can see them. Uh, and that's it for this video, guys. Thank you. Uh, I hope it helps you uh, in your in your plane in your competitiveness. Uh, definitely recommend these settings if you're on console. And you know, I hope it helps you out as much as you can. If you have any questions, please. Drop them in the, in the box below, the comments below. Um, subscribe if you want to keep looking forward to uh, Vanguard and especially Warzone when that comes out. Right now I'm just working on grinding my weapons. So I appreciate your guys' time. Be on the lookout for the second video.